Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. I'm making a video today to show you how to use a private browser. Basically what that does, it enables you to surf the internet without leaving a trail. Uh, you may want to do this uh, in case you're maybe doing some research you don't want anybody to see. Maybe you're trying to plan a surprise party for somebody and you don't want them, they use the same computer as you, don't want them to know what you're uh, looking up. Uh, it's real simple. We're going to do that uh, with Microsoft's Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, and Google Chrome. In order to open up a uh, private browser in Internet Explorer, right now we're using Internet Explorer 9. We're going to go to the little sprocket here in the top right where it says Tools. Click that. Go to Safety. And navigate to where it says In Private Browsing. Of course, here's the uh, hotkey. You can also hit Control, Shift, and the P button on your keyboard to open that up. So if you want to remember that you can. Uh, but this is the alternate way to get to it. So once we open that, we'll go ahead and close our other browser because it's going to open up a whole new window. And the way you know you're in private browsing, it says in private browsing on the top left here. And it doesn't matter if you open up a new tab or another tab or another tab. All the tabs that are within this window are all going to be in the in private browsing. So it's the only thing it's going to track while you're using this is uh, cookies and temporary internet files but only while you're in the window so as soon as I close this uh, window here anything that uh, it's keeping temporarily it's gonna it's gonna lose but it's not gonna track any of your history or anything you've been doing online uh, so once you close all the tabs it's like you were never using Internet Explorer ever um, we'll go ahead and open up Mozilla Firefox and I'll show you how to open up a private browser. It's it's named different in all three browsers. It's in private browsing in Internet Explorer. In Firefox, we go to the top left here. And where it says start private browsing, click on that. And say yes, you would like to start private browsing. And with uh, Mozilla Firefox, you see it didn't open up a new window. It just turned that same window into a uh, private browsing window. So this is going to do the same thing where you can open up multiple tabs and it's still not going to keep track of anything you do online. And uh, you can go, as soon as you close it, it's going to uh, discard anything that it's tracked. Uh, so in Mozilla Firefox, it's called uh, Private Browsing. So go ahead and close this web browser and go to uh, Google Chrome. In Google Chrome, if I go to the uh, little wrench here in the top right, click on that and where it says new incognito window and yet again there's hotkeys usually for all of all of these in uh in all the web browsers but if I click new incognito window this one just like Internet Explorer opens up a brand new window so you want to make sure you close the old one and are using the one with the uh, little character here in the top left lets you know you're in incognito mode so it's not going to track anything you're doing online uh, so this is a way to give you a little bit more privacy where you're online maybe you're sharing a computer with somebody maybe you're doing some research I don't want somebody to see what you're doing or you just want to keep your uh, browser clean of any history you can go into these modes to uh, do your web surfing but I do want to go over one other thing um, which is tracking there are certain websites out there that track your online behavior uh, they can t target you with advertising classify you into certain groups and they usually do that to resell that information to other companies and what we want to do is we want to prevent that from happening so even though you're in these modes, uh, there's still certain websites that can track, like your IP address, um, what you do online, and uh, basically just it's kind of almost like a almost like an invasion of privacy. But uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is click on Internet Explorer, and Internet Explorer it's called Traction Protection List, and to access that, we go back to the tools. and we go to safety again and then we click on tracking protection and as we see here we have no tracking protection uh, enabled basically what you can do here is you can start your own personalized list of uh, different websites that you can you know block from tracking uh, what you're doing online uh, but there's also an easier way that has pretty much everything already set up for you what we're going to do is navigate to uh, this website which is uh, www.ie gallery.com and once we go to the uh, IE gallery website we'll click on the top where it says traction protection list and one of my favorites that I want to go ahead and download is if you scroll down 
because Google is one known to definitely track what you're doing online where it says stop Google tracking we go ahead and click the add button and it's gonna ask you do you want to add this go ahead and add it to the list and that's gonna prevent Google which is the most used search engine to prevent them from while you're on Internet Explorer from tracking what you're doing on on their site so it's not gonna keep any information about you it's not gonna resell anything to other companies and uh, the way you know that this is worked and installed we go back to the tools go to safety again go back to tracking protection and as you can see here under tracking protection where it says stop google tracking it is uh... enabled there so that way google is not going to uh... track anything that i do online so i hit close and under this uh... website here there's other ones that you can do A very another good one that tracks uh other websites in general is privacy online but you can go ahead and in your own time just uh, research these and see which one uh, best suits you uh, but that's another way to have more privacy online so go ahead and uh, close Internet Explorer out that way you don't have websites tracking what you do all the time and we're gonna go ahead and, and go to Mozilla Firefox it's a little bit easier under here we we'll go back to the top left click where it says Firefox this time go to the options and go to options and it's going to be under the privacy tab so normally you'll see the general tab uh, highlighted if you click the privacy tab where it says tracking tell websites that do not want to be tracked go ahead and check that hit OK and that's it you're done So that way websites are not going to track your information now we'll go ahead and close uh, Firefox go to Google Chrome Google Chrome uh, they just added a new feature that does that just recently it's a little bit harder to get to we have to well, it's, it's sort of like Internet Explorer. You have to navigate to their uh, web store. So we'll go to chrome.google.com forward slash web store. Hit enter. And um, in Internet Explorer, it's called Tracking Protection List. And the Mozilla Firefox is called Do Not Track. And Google Chrome is called something different. Of course, everybody has a different name for it. It's called Keep My opt-outs and there it is uh, you can add this extension to Google Chrome just by clicking add to Chrome go ahead and click the add button and then to know that it's been added what we'll do is go to the settings no that settings sorry tools we want to go under tools and then go to extensions and there it is it's enabled so permanently opt out your bre your permanently opts your browser out of online and ad personalization via cookies so those are uh, very good things to have so basically what we covered is how to go use private browsing in all three of the top three web browsers and then also have to add an extra protection on top of that from websites to uh, track the information that you research online or view online so there it goes. I hope you guys found this information helpful, and that concludes this video.